Hey guys, welcome back to this video series on building a nut and a bolt. So in our first video, we built the bolt that's gonna be pictured here. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be building the nut. And then the third video of the series, we're gonna be doing the animation for the nut and the bolt. And so for this video right here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be building this nut. We're gonna be making sure that we build the threads so that way they can go with this bolt. And it's gonna be a 12 by 1.5 bolt. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to new part. We're gonna click part, we're gonna click okay. When it opens up, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that we go to this screen right here. We wanna make sure this, this menu is on millimeters, grams and seconds, so MMGS. Then we're gonna be going to our front plane. We're gonna to go to sketch. We're gonna to go to polygon tool and we're gonna be drawing a polygon, a polygon here in the center. So let's go ahead and draw that. We're gonna keep it at six sides. It's gonna be inscribed circle. Go ahead and hit the check mark. Then we're gonna be doing the smart dimension tool. And so the smart dimensions can be the same size that we did our bolt. So it's gonna be at 20 millimeters. So we're gonna to go to this side and bring it up. Type in 20, hit the check mark. Hit the check mark on your dimensions. Next thing we're gonna be doing is going, and we're gonna hit escape real quick. We're gonna hit this top edge right here, and we're gonna make sure it is on horizontal. So just make sure it's horizontal. Hit the check mark. Then we're gonna go up to the features tab. We're gonna go extruded boss base. This is gonna be on the sketch plane. We're gonna go with direction. We're gonna go mid plane. We're gonna make this at nine millimeters for the diameter. So go ahead and hit nine millimeters, hit the check mark. Next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're going to select the face of our part right here. And then we're going to go up to the sketch. We're gonna hit circle tool. And then from here, we're gonna to go to the center and we're gonna do an inscribed circle on the center right here. We're gonna bring it all the way to the edge. Hit the check mark. Next thing we're gonna do is go back up to our features menu. We're gonna hit extruded cut. Uh, we're on the mid plane. We're gonna hit flip side to cut. So it's gonna be mid plane, nine millimeters, same thing. Our angle right here is gonna be at 45 degrees. And it is very important that you hit this flip side to cut right here. Flip side to cut, okay, angles at 45 degrees hit the check mark. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the mirror tool and we're gonna go to this drop down right here. We're gonna go to the front plane and we're gonna mirror that cut that we just did on the front on the back side. So once you have this front plane should be showing on mirrored face. Uh, features to mirror is gonna be the cut extrude one, hit the check mark. And now as we scroll around, we should have that on both sides of our nuts. So now that, we're, that we have it mirrored, now we're gonna be going back to our sketch menu. And so what we're gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the supply scene. I'm gonna do plain white. So just we have a plain white background to get rid of some of that shadow. Uh, then I'm gonna select the face. I'm gonna go up here to my circle tool. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drawing the interior for where our nut threads are gonna be going. And so how we're gonna be basing this is gonna be based on the diameter of a standard 12 uh, millimeter nut or bolt. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our circle. We're gonna to go to smart dimension and we're going to dimension this at 10.38 millimeters. So 10.38, we're gonna hit the check mark. Hit the check mark on dimensions. Then we're gonna go back to our features menu and we're gonna select our extruded cut. This is gonna be through all. So we're gonna keep it on from sketch plane. Our direction one is gonna be through all. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna cut out this center area right here. And so hit the, 
hit the check mark. And so you see this right here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna add our chamfered. So we're gonna select this front face right here. So select this edge right here. You're gonna select chamfer. And we're gonna keep our chamfer type of A through D, just like we did on our bolt. It's gonna be on edge one. And this right here for our dimension is gonna be 0.5. And our degrees is we're, we're gonna keep our degrees at 45 degrees. Now we have it on edge one right now. We also wanna select our edge two. So we're gonna select on this edge two right here. So it should be edge one, edge two, same parameters. And we're gonna hit the check mark. So this gives us our chamfered on both sides. So if we flip around, we can see that we have our chamfered on both sides. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta add our threads. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our hole wizard. We're gonna hit the drop down. We're gonna hit thread. It's gonna give us this menu right here. So our nominal thread sides are profiles. So we're gonna hit okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our threads. And so just like we did before, we're gonna be selecting this front face right here. This is gonna be where our thread is gonna be on edge one. Uh, we are going to give that an offset of two millimeters. We're going to be up to selection. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip it around to this side right here. I'm going to choose the face. And let's scroll down. This is going to be metric tap. So the other one was on die. Now we're doing the tap. And this is going to be the M12 times 1.5. That's the type of bolt. So when we come back up here, we're going to go to our thread method is going to be cut threads. It's going to be right handed thread. We're going to have the wireframe preview. So on the preview, you can see that we don't have our offset. So we're going to hit this offset button and it should bring the offset out. We're going to check to see if we have the outside on the outside. So you see how this one already has the offset on this side. And then this one has just been set with that two millimeters. So now everything looks good. Uh, and we're going to hit that check mark. Now this is our nut right here. This is how it's going to look. And so what I want to do right now is we're going to hit on to this section view. We're going to scroll down here to where it says the top plane hit the check mark. And so what we're doing is just checking to see how our threads look. We want to make sure that we do have that metric tap. So it looks like a tap and it's not the die. So it's the nut portion, not the bolt portion, right? We want to make sure that these threads look even throughout and it looks like we're good, like we're good to go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit onto our section view again. That's gonna make it back into our full nut. So we're gonna recenter ourselves right here. And so last thing we have to do for this is gonna add our color, right? So we're gonna go back over to our appearances. We're gonna go to metal. We're gonna open the steel and it's gonna be brush steel like we did before. So you're gonna hold down alt on your keyboard and you're going to drag that onto the face of your nut. That's gonna change the type of uh, material that your nut is made out of. You're gonna hit the check mark and then you can close that menu. Okay guys, so that is our nut. That is the completion of this part. On the next part, we're gonna be putting together the nut with our bolt. So this last thing we gotta do is go up here to the save menu, save as, and we can label this as brushed steel nut. Brushed steel nut. Right. And then you're gonna get this message that says rebuild the save document. So we are gonna rebuild, it's recommended. So we're gonna do that. And so now we have our nut. and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.